Oh my god, that was so annoying. Okay, anyways, so as you've seen from the title of this video, we are doing Create This Book Episode 3 today. And the prompt I'm doing right now is, you know, create a contour drawing. And yeah. Um, if you don't know what contour drawing is, it's when you don't lift up your pen or pencil until you are done drawing the thing that you're drawing. And I was really in the mood for some contour drawing today, so that was good. So I did that page. <laughs> I decided to paint some cupcakes with watercolor. Um, yeah, but I did, you know, sketch them out first, and then I watercolored the cupcakes. I'm saying cupcakes because on one page I did one cupcake, as you can see right now, and then on the other page I decided to um, do four cupcakes, which you will see a little bit later. Um, it was really, really fun to, you know, watercolor these. And I will warn you, do not, and I repeat, do not watercolor in this book without double-siding the pages. I've made this mistake in my, pre in my Create This Book too, and it's not pretty. So guys, if you have Create This Book cre or Create This Book too, just double-side the pages and then watercolor, and you will just thank me later, okay? Because... <laughs> I did double-side the pages before doing all of this, and it, it was really good because then there wasn't that much of a problem with the bleeding. Okay, so now I decided to do my contour drawing cupcakes, and you know I separated the page into fours, into four separate squares, pretty much, and I just drew a cupcake on all of them, and yeah. As you can see right now, I did use the contour drawing technique on all the cupcakes for the boat sketching and boat the outlining. Um, for the watercolor, obviously I needed to paint with lifting my paintbrush up and dipping it in the water nonstop, so that was kind of impossible. Okay, so I outlined both of these cupcakes and also sketched them out on camera, but then the other two cupcakes I just did off camera. And then, you know, I did the watercolor. The color scheme I did for these pages, or, you know, this prompt, was yellow, pink, blue, and lavender. Or you could count it as purple, since I did use quite a few different tints and shades for all of these. Once I was done with the background, it was time to color in the cupcakes. Or, you know, watercolor them, whatever you want to call it. Sadly, that's all the footage I got for this. I did forget to um, film, you know, the page with the big cupcake on it. I did forget to film the background I did for that. I got carried away with talking with my sister about the most stupid things on earth. What? <laughs> so that's the reason why. So I just decided to add in some shots of how it turned out in the end. Yeah. That's pretty much how the page turned out, guys. I did, you know, paint like a whole bunch of the colors just in different sections for this page. Um, and I think it turned out really nice. This page is actually my favorite page I've done in the book so far. Um, yeah. And also my favorite page of this episode. Yeah. The next page I did was the create a food page where you had to decorate the page with food. Um, I didn't do, like, I don't know, salty things like burgers or pizza. I didn't do, like, I didn't draw those things. I decided to draw desserts because I wanted to, and I thought it would look more appetizing. And it would make you guys more hungry. And I am extremely hungry right now. I want my breakfast, but I'm still voiceovering this for some reason. Anyways, you don't care, do you? Um, yeah, I drew a cupcake, a donut those kind of donuts with like no hole in them um, and an ice cream in a cup with like how many scoops does this have one two three four five six six scoops there are probably six more at the back so 12 scoops of ice cream over here then we have a trifle if you don't know what a trifle is it's like it's like the this humongous bowl with a whole bunch of layers in it like one layer of cake and then one layer of custard and one layer of chocolate and another layer of cake and it's extremely delicious and i absolutely love eating it yeah and then we have a typical cake slice that's basically everything i drew on this thing yeah 
very, very appetizing and delicious. I want my breakfast. I want my breakfast. Oh my god, I'm so hungry now. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so I just had my breakfast, and now I'm back with this voiceover. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, I am doing watercolor once again. Because, I don't know, in the previous page, it went really nice to do watercolor. It turned out really nice in the end. So I decided to do watercolor once again with this page. Once again, this was sadly the only footage I got for this page. So... Yeah, um, I did just film, you know, the end part of the epicness of how it turned out in the end. So I'm just going to put that in once this clip is over. Uh, yeah. Also, another thing I think I was thinking to do is do three pages per episode. You guys can decide how many you want in the comments if the comment section is open, which it barely is now. And I, it's so frustrating. Um, yeah. I'm thinking either three pages, four pages, or five pages. Um, if I do very detailed pages, then three. If I do, like, short pages that didn't take me that long, probably, like, five. And if it's in the middle, then four. That's pretty much what I'm thinking to do. Yeah, let's now skip on to the end result of how this page turned out. Here it is. I did paint the background in this, like, taxi yellow, and then, you know, all the beautiful desserts in their beautiful colors. Yeah, I am very proud of this page as well. It's not my favorite, but it's really nice still. Let's move on to the last page for this episode. So, as you can see, we are doing the creative page of garbage now, and I just put a whole bunch of scattered things that I thought go into the garbage, and I just drew all of them. Before, let me just address this before we go on with everything else. You could see, like, this really weird orange kind of color at this point of this video. I noticed how that that was happening because of um my phone. Because I was watching a YouTube video about bullet journaling. <laughs> so, I just moved my phone. And, yeah, then that orange kind of color went away. Yeah. Um... So that's what I did. Anyways, I really like how this teddy bear that I was sketching slash outlining right now, I really like how it turned out. Yeah, most of these things, I'm pretty sure, are just things I feel like are thrown into the trash often. I mean, I don't know about the teddy bear, but <laughs> I I still like how I drew it, even though it's kind of sad. The teddy bear's going to go into the dumpster. Yeah, anyways. Um, paintbrush, I was just outlining there. I mean, paintbrush, because, you know, I throw a lot of paintbrushes. And you see that box slash chocolate piece I'm outlining right now? What does it look like to you guys? It's like an optical illusion. It's like, it looks like a box, and you're just going down into the box, but it also looks like a chocolate bar. Um, so let me know what you think it is, because it's meant to be a box, <laughs> not a chocolate piece, because I feel like everybody just eats up the chocolate and throws the wrappers of chocolate away, so, yeah. I should have added, like, some mold and some dirty things and flies onto the food and stuff, and so it would look more obvious, but I felt like it kind of looked m enough obvious in already, because, you know, of the trash can, and you will see that I put, like, a dark green outline around all of this. Um, so I thought it was pretty obvious already. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you guys, can you see that, um, that paper ball thing that I tried to make? Does it look like a paper ball to you guys, or does it just look like, um, some random shapes just scattered about? <laughs> okay, so that was the outlining. Um, let's, I'm gonna focus on more of the coloring I did now, even though there, I had, I've got... Not that much footage of it since I did most of the coloring off camera. Yeah, I've literally been filming this on a span of like three and a half weeks, basically a month. I th That's the amount of time I've been working on this video. So everything's just scattered around. I basically have forgotten where some of the clips of th these videos are and stuff. So I'm a little bit sorry if this is a little bit messed around. But I did work really hard on all of the things I did in this video all the pages I worked extremely hard on. It's like I spent five hours, I spent like five hours on the cupcake page, then I spent another six hours or something on the food page, 
no something like that and then on this page i spent like another six or five hours so as you can see like 15 hours and then another five hours of editing i've spent like 20 hours working on this video for you guys <laughs> um so yeah i did work really hard on this video still yeah um, and I think my hard work really paid off, both on this video and for the pages I did. I'm probably gonna be spending quite a while working on every page I do, and instead of like rushing to finish a page, because I feel like then the end result is much better if I'm just calmed down for what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think that's basically it um, for this video i'm gonna show you guys some of the off-camera pages i've done as well because i did quite a few of those as well um and yeah here's the end result i'm really happy with how this page turned out as well it's really cute really nice actually it was also really fun to draw a whole bunch of random things um not just like only you know pretty things but also trying to draw garbage and yeah okay this is literally all one clip <laughs> i usually take this in a lot of clips but i'm literally just messing around with the camera yeah this was that that was this page you guys um and again you know tell me which one's your favorite moving on to the off camera pages Woohoo! okay let's begin so most of the first few pages i did on camera on the first episode or no the second episode um then we have the monochrome page which i used like this magenta kind of color scheme magenta slash purple basically all these on the cupcake wait i don't think i drew a cupcake in all the video all the things in this video wait i did on two but i did not on the garbage page so i might add a cupcake onto that anyways here are here's the monochrome page then um we have the garbage page a spoiler because that's going to be part of another video. Then we have the Create Obscure Shapes. Um, yeah, fill this page with unusual shapes. Um, yeah, I just scribbled and then I colored in all the shapes. And this is what happened. And I like it. Any other pages? Um, yeah, Create a Test. Um, draw something, test the difference between your right hand and left hand. So here's, because I'm right-handed, this is what I do with my right hand, this is what I do with my left. I also really like this page. And that's it. That's all the pages. And then, you know, we have pages we did for this video. We had the create a contour drawing. Then we had the create a food page. And then and we have more to the front, we have the create a, a page of garbage. Yeah, that was all of the pages that I wanted to show you off camera and pages we did for this video. Yeah, bye guys!